sister Eilish Weber, uh, who's currently living at our mother house in Drogheda, Ireland, and she's read the latest update we have from Angola. So, Sister Eilish, good morning. Good morning, Sister Isabel. You've read the uh, latest news from our sisters in, in Angola. Were you surprised to hear the news is so good? Well, I was delighted to hear it. And um, when I went to Angola a few years ago for the Golden Jubilee celebrations of MMM, I was happy to see that improvements had started. But from this report in Angola now, it sounds as if things are going by leaps and bounds. And Something you wonderful. never imagined when you were stuck down in Chulo during all the long years of the war. You were the tutor at the hospital in Chulo, isn't that that's, right? That's right. We had a thriving nursing school and uh, made up of boys and girls. And okay. uh, it was a wonderful challenging time. The students loved to learn. There was no problem animating them. They were already animated and it was a pleasure to teach them and train them in the ways of nursing. Tell me about the time that you went on the shopping trip to Lubango, I think it was, and you were ambushed on the way back. Isn't that right? That's correct, yeah. Well, this was during the time of the South African invasion and we were in a war zone and in order to travel we lived in a very remote area in the middle of the bush. In order to travel, you had to get the permission of the South Africans to travel and tell them the type of car that was travelling and you had to be back by sunset, otherwise they would attack you. Was that by from air raids? Air raids, yeah, yeah. but also ambushes. Ambushes, Because right. one time uh, I was bombed and the other time I was ambushed. Tell me about the time you were ambushed. Well, we were coming back to Chulu and we were bringing one of our MMM doctors for the first time. And we were within an, an hour of Chulu and we were looking forward to our Sunday dinner. And next thing we heard shots and the car, the Land Rover swerved left, right and centre and ended up in the bush. Happily, we had a male driver. I don't think we would have had the physical strength to hold the car. So when we got out of the car, the car didn't overturn, but when we got out, uh, it was South African sh soldiers, and they were horrified to see that there were two white sisters in the full habit of MMM emerging from the car. And they had blown the tyres off, had they? Yes, they had blown the tyres, which apparently they do when they don't intend to kill. Right. If they were killing, they would have shot higher up. Mm -hmm. But happily, they went for the tyres and they mm -hmm. destroyed the tyres. But we were unhurt. But I had uh, six trays of eggs <laughs> piled up. On your lap? No, no, behind me. Yes. Like the Land Rover was packed tight, tight. So these trays of eggs were wedged behind me. So naturally, from my shoulder blades down, I was one mess of Yokes. broken eggs. <laughs> yes. But alive? Oh, alive, yes. And what did the soldiers do? They brought us into kind of a camp place and made tea in a huge billy can and told us that they would keep us overnight but that they, were te they had tents with mosquito nets and we would not be harmed. They would look after us. So uh, next thing, a message came from headquarters to move us. So we finished the tea. They bundled us back into the helicopter and this time the helicopter was surrounded by three other helicopters and they brought us back to Chulu. It was only about a 15 minute ride in the helicopter. And um, you got safely home. We got safely home. And did the people back at the hospital know what had happened to you? They didn't know. They just you there had was no a lot of activity that day in the sky, airplanes, helicopters, everything. They'd no cell phone over the chip. Oh, could. not at all. We'd no, uh, no means of communication at all but except bush telegraph. None, you know? of, none of you was hurt anyway. We weren't, no. And did you get home in time for your Sunday dinner? Oh, not at all. We got home about four o'clock in the afternoon. Oh, okay. But when the people saw the helico our helicopter coming lower and lower, there was absolute panic and then somebody saw me through the window of the helicopter and they screamed, Here my Eilish is in that helicopter. Oh, you know? it was a good ending to a very harrowing trip. Uh, yes. Well, yeah. thank you very much, Sister Eilish. You had many hair-raising experiences during all those years. We'll hear more of them another time. Okay, thank you.